Maguire, let me teach you about a mistake that a lot of business people make. And it's not really a mistake because they don't even know what they're doing. Um, a lot of people get into business. I don't know if you read the, heard the book, The E-Myth Revisited, but Michael Gerber calls it like the entrepreneur like, like throw up. He goes like they're really good at uh, we we won't get we'll we'll diagnose that book some other time we won't get lost into it. But he says there's like three aspects to being an entrepreneur, aka a business owner, and one is the there's three hats that they wear. There is the tech tactician, sorry not tactician technician, whatever this is that they're good at. Then there's the visionary slash entrepreneurial side, and then there is the uh, the manager, the manager, uh, usually like the overseeing operations and stuff. And entrepreneurs like the risk taker and they got to go and get after stuff. And tends to be the entrepreneurs like usually the the marketer type stuff too. They're like usually in the sales and marketing style too. But what happens is most people get into business and entrepreneur because they're really good at a thing. They're an employee. They're like uh, in the book there, E-Myth Revisited, he talks about... Uh, this girl that's making pies and she is super good at making pies. So they'll tell her, you're really good at making pies. You should go into business for yourself. In fact, now I think about it, this is going to be today's video. Okay, we'll talk about what I was going to talk about originally before. This is really good here. And um, we want to really, really hit this message home. So we talked about the one, two, and three. This is uh, Coach Spiegel here, by the way. Uh, uh, founder of a woke warrior where we'll tell you some other time what, what it means to be a woke warrior. I've had other videos on it, so we'll talk about that some other time. Anyways, the, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we got the, the technician. So they're really good at like cooking pies. Then there's the entrepreneur. They tend to be the visionaries and they tend to be the risk takers. Uh, they got the ideas. They're the ideas. And like ideas out of nowhere. I think I know how to solve that problem. I know how to do that. I know how to do that. Boom, 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 boom. And then number three is the manager. And in order for a business to work, you kind of need all three. And Michael Gerber talks about in that book, um, having systems. You create something that makes yourself obsolete. You create a program. You can't create a system. He calls it McDonaldizing stuff. You create a system that kind of eliminates the need for all three. And you get to just be the guy working. Ooh, almost dropped. I did drop my pen. You get to be the guy working on the business, overseeing, instead of in the business. You're, you're like the technician doing stuff. And each of these three hats kind of want to do stuff. And you kind of know what your place in is in these three. Anyways, uh, people have Michael Kerber called the, the entrepreneurial vomit. People, this lady, she's so good at making pies. Everybody tells her she should have her own pie. She should have her own pie location. She make a killing. So she's like, okay. So she opens up her own shop and uh, spends her life savings. Turns out like there's these business stuff and these taxes stuff. And she's got to learn how to do, how to get people to note, how to get people in the door. And once in the door, sell them the pie. And then there's the bookkeeping, the counts and it's just like, oh, she's doing all these 18 different things. She's like, oh, my gosh. And she creates like a monster of a business, like a Frankenstein of a business. Another great book is called Profit First. And Michael Michalowicz talks about it being your, your business is like a Frankenstein. It's like all these pieces of all this other stuff. And you're just going, going to nuts doing it. Um, so that, that's a lot of mistake there is just knowing that there's a way – like to know kind of like where you are. I see a lot with the technicians kind of people like um, they're really good cooks. They're really, in my case, it was like um, I was come from the personal training world and I almost made this huge of a mistake. I was kind of feeling that entrepreneurial urge. And so I wanted to jump into business for self, a really good technician, really good at the, the nuts and bolts of personal training. But like that, this business running stuff like scared me so i i uh, ran away we'll talk about that some other time um 
Somebody's a really good like tattoo artist. They're a really good cleaner. They're a really good lawnmower. They're like the best lawnmower. Did you hear that? Shh. <laughs> Forgot this thing was there. <laughs> this is an air freshener thing. Spritz out. Forgot I was there. So, uh, anyways, just kind of know which one you're at in that case, and um, we'll revisit that that uh, book in just another time, another again. This is cool. Um, we got lots to share with you. Uh, all sorts of awesome stuff to share with you about this entrepreneurial journey. That's what it is to be the woke warrior. Is you took the red pill, okay? And it's not your your dad's. It's not your grandpa's economy anymore. It's not your economy world. Totally different world where it's okay to be an entrepreneur. It's okay to be in business for yourself. It's okay to make your own choices. And you are you felt something different in you your whole life. Okay, maybe you felt like this, and um, you, you want to break free, break free from the system. Cool. All right, well, Gloria, we'll talk to you next time. This is cool. Go ahead, subscribe. Got questions? Let me know.